Oh, what's this? My shirt? You like it? Well, thanks. I designed it and it's now up in my shop so you guys can go and get one for yourself if you want. What's that? You like my mug? Well, thanks. I designed him too. And here's what it says on the back. Also in my shop. Link in description. Hey, what's up guys? And welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am so glad that you found me. Thank you for clicking on this video. And if you're returning, thanks for coming back. So last week's video was kind of just for fun because I didn't have a topic idea and yeah. So it was, it was just a fun one. And this time, unfortunately, we are back to the serious topics. I am so sorry. But don't worry, I'm gonna make it fun for you guys, so stick around. Trigger warning, we are going to be mentioning the words rape and sexual assault, although not talking about that per se, so just so you're aware. So over the weekend, it came to the attention of the femme presenting and female community on TikTok that there were some dudes who were trying to make hashtag national rape day a thing. So we're gonna talk about how this all started and kind of what it means. So basically this is a thing that started on Turkish Twitter in response to women protesting over Turkey's withdrawal from the Istanbul Convention. So the Istanbul Convention is a binding contract that was signed by 34 European countries in 2014 that sought to end legal impunity for perpetrators of domestic violence. So basically there has been a brash in Turkey of women being murdered mostly by their partners or going missing under mysterious circumstances. So Turkey was actually the first country to ratify this convention in 2012 which, and they were praised internationally for being progressive about women's rights and being a leader in gender equality. So this contract wasn't really about stopping domestic violence per se, even though that is also a big part of what activists want to get out of it, but rather being able to punish perpetrators, both to gain justice for the victims and as a deterrent. Kind of important. <laughs> So basically what happened is in March of this year, Turkey's president Tayyip Erdogan decided to nullify the treaty by presidential decree. And that sparked a rush of protests and outcry from women's rights and gender equality activists. And in response to these protests, the men of Turkey decided to band together on Twitter. And it's hard to tell if this was a joke or if this was actual organizing, but they were talking about starting a national rape day in response to these women and women's rights groups decrying this decree. So that's how this whole thing started. They started using a hashtag that was trending on Turkish Twitter, and then it got picked up by somebody in the UK that said with no basis in actual evidence that it was an actual thing that was scheduled to happen in the UK this National Rape Day. And then that got passed around from the UK to everywhere else, finally making its way to America and beyond. Anyway, there's a TikToker that I follow named Bloodbath and Beyond who talks about this situation in detail in a nice short four-part, which is four minutes on TikTok series. And so if you wanna learn more about the situation, how it started, how it developed, and how it got to where, and the possible consequences of this happening, go watch that, link will be in the description. So it's unclear as to whether this is actually a planned thing that these groups of men are actually planning to do, or if it was just a joke all along, but it seems that a lot of misinformation was going around and telling women to be careful on April 19th, April 24th, April 26th, April 29th, a couple of dates in May. So just there was, it was very unclear as to whether this was actually happening or when it was happening or if it was all just a big troll. So here's the problem though. There were men who were picking this up and joking about it and women got scared, rightfully so. This came to my attention on Thursday, April 15th. My FYP on TikTok was flooded with my femme presenting mutuals talking about this and urging people to be careful and to watch out for potentially predatory men. And I didn't see any male allies talking about this, although I did a TikTok live that night and um, somebody on my stream told me that they had seen male allies talking about this and de denouncing it, but I only saw femme presenting and female creators talking about this, warning women and denouncing this being used as a joke. 
the response that I did see from males, I hesitate to call them men because most likely they're just a bunch of edgy teenage boys with dark humor. Dark humor is not a thing, it's just your excuse for being sexist and racist. These dudes were in my mutuals comment sections threatening to dox their address and to find where they live and come and attack them and potentially assault them or sexually assault them for talking about this. <sighs> That's just so many levels of <laughs> up, I don't even... Guys, if you think joking about National Rape Day, about coming to a woman or a femme presenting's house to sexually assault her or assault her in general, you think that's funny? Uh, I don't know what to tell you. It's not. It's not funny at all. How would you like it if we joked about doing that to you? Oh, you wouldn't care because women aren't threatening. <laughs> you wouldn't be scared because you don't think I can hurt you. Let's see about that. The types of people who find this kind of thing funny. So this is not a sense of humor thing. It's how rape culture is perpetuated. By scoffing at a real issue affecting the lives of women, domestic violence, and partner murder, and turning that into a joke. That diminishes the issue at hand, and it makes it seem like it's not a big deal. Like you can just assault women, it's okay. It's funny, nobody cares. Tied into this, I wanna talk a little bit about the trend that I've seen of young dudes, mostly Gen Z guys on TikTok, but also other social media platforms, claiming that women aren't funny. And I wanna kinda of tie that into how these two things are related. Because they are. I have an example for you guys. You may or may not have seen this dude, Unfortunately, the original video was taken down. Either it was taken down by TikTok or he took it down because of all the hate he was getting for it. But luckily, I have a clip. It's not very long, but here it is. Bro, women aren't funny. <laughs> Tell me a joke then. If anything, her video strengthens our point because she doesn't even realize what jokes we're talking about when we say women aren't funny. So that's all that I took for the clip because I didn't want to record the whole thing because but he goes on to talk about the types of jokes that he means when he says women aren't funny and he basically boils it down to oh when you're hanging out with your bros and somebody drops a one-liner that gets the whole group in stitches for like 15 minutes straight one-liners like rape jokes are those the types of things that we don't think are funny, that we don't joke about? So you guys don't think we're funny because we don't share that sense of humor? Stuff like that. Well, I wanted to give you guys a taste of the comedy gold that is this man's TikTok. Pee your pants right now. Tell me what men bring to the table. I want you guys to stitch this and... Uh... These sunglasses. My name is Joey, but you can call me anytime. What type of person do you attract? Number one, the homeschooled Christian who has never left their hometown. Number two, Barack Obama. You have to stop lying to yourself, Barack. I could love you better than Michelle ever could. Just look inside your heart. So funny, right? <laughs> Mwah! <laughs> Dude, you say that women aren't funny. Dude, you say that women aren't funny, but the greatest joke ever made was when your mom had you! <laughs> I saw a lot of femmes commenting that on that video when it was still up. Interruption from the cat. She says hello. Say hi. Shush! So many interruptions. You'd think I never feed her. I swear I do. So I kind of already touched on how these two things are related. The kinds of jokes that dudes make between dudes that they think are funny, that women don't think are funny, that we would never make because they're not funny, are jokes about blatantly racist stuff or sexual assault or rape or sexism, or ableism, or take your pick. 
So I don't think it's really that women aren't funny. I think it's just that our sense of humor is evolved beyond yours because it actually takes an intellect to understand and not just a second grade reading level. I also find it funny that this guy uh, makes videos about how no women, and, and I'm sure it's a joke, but that no women want to date him. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> why, why would a woman want to date you? You don't respect them. And if you go through his feed, it's a lot of just making fun of women. Just no reason. Just poking fun at women who are just minding their own business, posting their content, and him stitching them and making fun of them. So, yeah, I can see why women don't want to date you. Maybe grow up and develop a real sense of humor and you could get a girlfriend. <laughs> I will say that when I did my TikTok live that evening, when this news started coming to light and I was talking about this issue, that all the men who were, I won't say all, um, cause not all of them were commenting, but most of the men who were interacting with me on that live agreed with me that this is disgusting. This National Rape Day thing is disgusting and it's not funny and nobody should be joking about it. So here's what I would like to see. I would like to see more male allies standing up about things like this. I've heard a lot from male allies who wanna help to get rid of toxic masculinity, that they vow to be conscious of when they see these types of toxic behaviors happening and call their friends out on it and say stuff like, hey dude, that's not funny. You shouldn't joke about rape. But it was very disappointing. Um, my FYP is very mixed. I see all kinds of skin colors, all kinds of um, sexes and of different types of gender expressions and things all over my FYP. And it was very disappointing to me to not see any male allies talking about this thing when it came out. Um, maybe that has changed since then. I haven't really been watching TikTok as much as I have been making content lately. So if you guys know of any male allies on TikTok who are talking about this and denouncing it, then uh, tag me so I can see them because I would love to see that. Rape jokes are not dark humor. Being blatantly sexist and misogynistic is not dark humor. It's just being a shitty person. So maybe try better. <laughs> maybe try to develop an actual sense of humor. Uh, but I don't know what else to say on the topic. Thank you guys for sticking around with me. Um, yeah, be better dudes, just be better. <laughs> anyway, if you liked this video, <laughs> I feel like it was kind of awkward, but if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more content like this from me in the future. I post new videos every Wednesday, and if you are already a subscriber, I heart you so much. Stay safe and have a lovely weekend. I'll see you next week.